So Pamela Anderson's appearance at a fashion show in Paris is getting a lot of applause because she stepped out makeup free. Hmm. Actress Jamie Lee Curtis joined the praise, declaring that the revolution has begun. Oh. oh. Are more women getting more comfortable in their own skin? No. I think, I think you started this revolution a while ago. This isn't news to you. No. This is nothing new to me. No. Well, well, would be, would be you, for all pe out. of all people, should know how important makeup is, because you used to put it on dead people. Wait, is that true? She was a cosmetologist no, was. in another yeah. life. And it, yeah. you perk up a corpse nicely when yeah. you put a nice lipstick on. I've yeah, seen a corpse, not enough makeup. You know, these girls, they need, they need to get with the program. No, I actually, I love the move. I don't think it's a revolution yet, but I, I do, th and I've always known you to be this way, Whoopi, but I do think to see some people setting the opposite trend that we're seeing everywhere else, like people of a certain age and now on reality TV, it's starting in your 20s. I don't recognize them. Yeah, in fact, so they look, makeup. ironically, way older than they are right? because they all become chipmunks with big lips. <laughs> and it's not good, it's not even good for your skin. But I will tell you, the part of the article that I kind of just can't get behind, I definitely get behind the no makeup. Everybody knows we all rip our makeup off the minute we step off the I stage. Don't. I, I do. You know I what? Do. I'll tell you something. I do. I'll take my makeup off when Trump takes his off. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Part of this little story is that they're also letting their hair out. There's a lot oh, the of armpits. There's oh, armpit wow. hair and a lot of hair down there. And you told me <laughs> what? That as you get older, that hair down there and everywhere else yeah. goes yes. gray or bald. I said that? Is it you called? said that. <laughs> you said that. And so I subjected myself to medieval type procedures <laughs> to avoid that. Well, you have to laser. What are you putting alopecia on it? What I are you did doing? A lot of stuff. I mean, that stuff they put on there. What is it called? I Not did alopecia. a lot of stuff. Alopecia is what happens. But I, what, what's the thing they put on there? You to laser let your hair everything grow. off and what's Rogaine. 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 I don't think we should You're not putting Rogaine down. No, but I did a lot of stuff. Do not take this medical advice. Um, I, I liked it as well. <laughs> Hardly found it revolutionary since most women don't wear like, you know, TV grade makeup and what celebrities do. Right. Um, I remember back in the day, Gretchen Carlson went on Fox News with no makeup and it was this big to do and all the Fox execs were mad. And I was like, that's incredible. Like yeah. embrace what you actually look like. She's a beautiful woman. My one gripe is this. A lot of influencers on social media were, will say, I'm makeup free. And I'm looking at the picture, I was like, the filter! You are not, there's filters, you've got, you just have less makeup on. No. In general, women don't need to be subjected to unrealistic beauty no. standards. Yeah. Yet we all are. Well, I'm not doing it. <laughs> and bad advice. And bad advice. <laughs> like Rogaine. It. <laughs> Does it fall out eventually? That's what, what she said. The hair down there? Yeah. Yes. You get bald. <laughs> <laughs> Someone who needs it. Or it shows up somewhere else, like here, yeah. or here, or there. Like one long it's crazy.